Hello everyone and welcome to the Donna arrest watch and mark my word Donna will be arrested 1000% yes this is the truth I'll say it again she's gonna be arrested this is also part three of the evidence against Donna Adelson in the murder of Dan Markell and as we saw in the Charlie Adelson trial the evidence mounting against Donna is getting very real and it is also very, very serious. And let's hope that the Tallahassee Police Department and the FBI are taking it very seriously because what my hopes are, and this is also a call to action that I think you might want to be listening in on those jail calls, which I have requested. I expect to get them next week. But before we jump into those things that we can look forward to from our end, those little, you know, breadcrumbs of information that we all love to hear anything new about the case. I just wanted to dive back into Donna's evidence part one and two to tell you the evidence that I have compiled. And if you believe that I've missed something, please let me know. So let's first go over what I talked about in Donna's evidence part one. And of course, I started with the checks written to Catherine and the consecutive checks um, of in February 12th of 2015. We have those consecutive checks. Uh, November 6th of 2014, we have a text from Charlie to Katie that says, put that you work in office and not at home. And we know that Katie never worked in the office. Then February 12th, 26th, and March 11th was those consecutive checks that Donna wrote to Katie from the Adelson Institute. Then we have the email that was written on June 25th of 2013 and in advance of the July 2013 court hearing in the divorce of Wendy and Dan Markell, Donna wrote an email to Wendy with the subject line, please read, very important. So we all know what was said in that email. They made a big deal about it in, in the Charlie Adelson trial, and it was one of the reasons that Charlie was convicted. So also we have the wiretaps on 420 of 2016, and Katie says, why would they contact your mom? And a bunch of wiretaps uh, other than that one. Of course, we have the Best Buy appointment that was on made on July 11th of 2014. Donna emailed Wendy to confirm the Best Buy appointment about uh, fixing a broken TV set that was scheduled between 8 and noon on July 18th of 2014. Then of course we had the Lacoste statement on July 13th of 2014 about Wendy's statement to Jeff about hiring a hitman, that they had looked into all options. Okay, so that was part one. Then in part two of Donna's evidence, I talked about more evidence of the wiretaps. I believe I played the conversation of the two of us, the squeaky swing conversation, and then, of course, talking in code. And what we knew at the time was just about the TV code. And then Charlie says on those wiretaps, don't worry. And then she's and Donna says, you think so? And of course, they didn't call the police. That's that's pretty huge evidence. And so I'm moving on to part three today. Some of the new evidence that we found in the Charlie Adelson trial. And this evidence is totally jaw dropping. Go arrest Donna right now. Right now, everyone. Stop what you're doing. We know you want to have a good Thanksgiving and Christmas and holiday with your family, but let's let's uh, hope that maybe by the end of this year, maybe into the new year, you'll go get her. I had this video cash deposits, and I was so excited, and I was a little bit wrong about these cash deposits. And I think I had said something like 100K. I think it was something like 25K. Then I saw other texts that were like 100K. But that to me shows evidence of money transaction between the Adelson family and it wouldn't surprise me if Donna had maybe given Charlie some cash maybe he put the money back in her account 
So those cash deposit texts were real important to me. And another thing that Donna had as her evidence was Donna's call to Sammy, the undercover agent, which I had reenacted and I had definitely had some fun at Donna's expense saying, it wasn't me, it wasn't me. And all of her lame excuses in that video, I definitely recommend you check that one out. And also Donna's washing of the money or the alleged washing of the money. And I go over that in my other video about, you know, speculating, was it mold? Was it moldy money? Was it Charlie's money? Did she, did Donna wash it? Did Charlie wash it? I guess we'll have to do more investigating on that one. And thanks to Ben's uh, junk video, he showed us how to wash money. And then we have the birthday code, which was so shocking to all of us. I think we could not believe that their code was so obvious and they were totally exposed in this trial, especially Charlie trying to explain all of this away. And Donna definitely has some explaining to do about her use of this 70th birthday code where she says, we'll stop in about five minutes and I can speak to you privately about dad's birthday gift. And I have some ideas and he says, great. All right. And this text right here on June 7, 2014, Charlie says, okay, have fun. Still working on dad's B-Day present. Donna says, I know it's a tough B-Day being 70 and all, but I know that you'll come through. Smiley face, thumbs up, mom. Also, um, Donna avoiding the depositions along with Harvey before the trial of Charlie Adelson. She avoided the depositions. Why be so sketchy? It just doesn't make any sense. Wouldn't she want to defend her own son if he was being uh, double extorted? So doesn't make any sense. Plus, I know I said 500 jail calls. It's way more than that. It's probably at least a thousand plus at this point in time. I can't wait to see these jail phone calls who Charlie called the week after he was convicted of murder, conspiracy, and solicitation of murder. He must just be beside himself calling his mother, who's about to go to jail for the same things. So, and also, I really want you guys to put your thinking caps on. I really want you to think about any connections of Maricel Descalzo. And I know that the only connection that I know of is that she went to the University of Miami, and that's also where... Wendy Adelson went to school for law. If you all know of any more uh, ties to the Adelson that Maricel might have, maybe some ties to Daniel Rochbaum. Um, I'm also going to look for maybe some ties to some former lawyers that Donna and Harvey had for their uh, fraud case where they were sued by another law firm for uh, not paying their A Amex bill, you know, hiring a law firm and then, and then skipping out on the bill. So I'm going to, I'm going to do some research about, uh, ties to this new lawyer. And, uh, we're going to do a, um, by the time this airs, we will have already seen 2020. So thank you for those who attended the watch party after. And, um, this has been kind of a momentous week for a lot of us. And I mean, under the circumstances of a murder trial, um, getting justice is exciting. I don't care what rock you're living under. Uh, if you kind of followed this case and gotten to know the families, characters that have uh, fought for justice, we definitely thank everyone who has been fighting and, and working hard. And hopefully we will continue to work hard and get more evidence, more arrests. And um, definitely stay tuned for Charlie's Thanksgiving calls and the calls from the holidays, maybe going into Christmas. I don't know how quickly they will send him to the prison. And some people are definitely talking about going to his sentencing. It might be, might just be a short meeting and, and uh, maybe not worth that much travel. Maybe thinking about going to the sentencing just to see the look on his face and to, to see, you know, the final nail in the coffin and that this rogue juror didn't 
take down this whole trial. It would be awful, but thanks to all of the people's great opinions and saying that, no, not going to happen. Not today. Nice try, but let's stay on this Donna arrest watch and hope for more justice and justice for Dan, justice for the Markells, and everyone who's been following this case. Let's just keep the faith and keep the momentum going into the new year and find a pace that's good and that we can continue to press the state for answers and more arrests. So thank you so much for watching and liking and subscribing. Have a wonderful day.